students on today's lecture i'll cover uh, uh, the solution part of specimen paper paper 2 of 2018 mathematics d 4024 today i'll start from question number seven solve this so if we take the bracket of 3x minus 15 equal to 5x minus 7 bringing all the x at the same side 3x minus 5x and that's minus 7 over here is plus 15 so that's going to be minus 2x equal to uh, 8 therefore x equal to minus 4 so that's x equal to minus 4 and solve the simultaneous equation uh, i can see that if i multiply this by 2 so i can write down 4x minus 2y equal to 6 to the 12 and this is 4x plus 3y equal to minus 3 if i subtract that then this cross out minus minus uh, 2 minus added minus 5y and that's going to be 15 y equal to minus 3 uh, put the value over here minus 3 equal to 6 so 2x plus 3 equal to 6 so x equal to 6 minus 3 divided by 2 so x equal to 3 by 2 or 1.5 so x is 1.5 y is minus 3 okay that's done now express as a single fraction in the simplest form so i can do the lcm p plus 2 2p minus 3 and that's 7 2p minus 3 minus 4p plus 2 so take the bracket of 7 to the 14p minus 21 minus 4p minus 8 and that i don't need to multiply that because on the top i might have some factor like that so i can cancel out if it's not we're going to keep it like that 10p minus 4 uh, 14p minus 4p that's 10p and minus 21 minus 8 that's going to be minus 29 and i cannot take anything common so i'll keep it as it is okay so that's the answer for this you can write down the answer 10p minus 29 divided by p plus 2 2p minus 3 that's that now simplify that now this is going to be y square minus 3 square and that's going to be middle term break 2 times 15 so if i divide this by 3 so that's going to be 5 multiply that 6 so that uh, see this one was minus and if i put this one minus then when i add it it's going to be minus 1 so it's going to be 2 y square minus 6y plus 5y minus 15 and that's going to be in the form of a square minus b square so y plus 3 y minus 3 and down here 2y taking common so y minus 3 plus 5 common y minus 3 so that's going to be y plus 3 y minus 3 and over here y minus 3 2y plus 5 y minus 3 y minus 3 cross out so final answer is y plus 3 divided by 2y plus 5 okay so that's done now this one the diagram shows two circles with equal radii a e and c are a e and c uh, a e and c are points on the circle with center b a e and c okay center b therefore uh, b e d f r with the point uh, that and a b c d is a straight line two circles with equal ready so they are equal circles show that triangle a e c a e c and f b e now let me do that f b e they are congruent okay to show that congruent i need to show that all sides are equal or uh, i can say that um, uh, congruent r h s s s s then s a s or s a a so right hand side uh, right angle hypotenuse and sides are equal or s s s are equal s a s or uh, i think you know that okay so this is gonna be look at this this is gonna be diameter okay so ac and uh over here this one this is diameter and this is uh two radii so this equals to that and then uh um these two are equal okay so i can write down in triangle in triangle aec and triangle fb e uh, ac 
AC equal to AC equal to FE FE equal diameter equal diameter okay so that's that and then this angle angle E angle E or I can side write down AEC equal to angle F that's equal to 90 degree angle in the semicircle semicircle that means they are 90 degree and this one opposite of that so this equal diameter is hypotenuse hypotenuse that's the way I'm gonna solve it and then EC EC is gonna be radii of this one and this is gonna be radii of this one okay so EC equal to BE equal radii given this is given therefore triangle AEC is congruent to triangle FBE and the reason is RHS okay right angle hypotenuse and another side so that's that state another triangle that is congruent to triangle AEC another one would be AEC so it should be uh, BFD, BFD, so that's triangle A, A, B, A, E, D, it says A, E, C, so right angle is this one, so B, F, D, that's another uh, congruent triangle, so you can see that, uh, this equals to this, and then this is 90, this is 90, and this equals to this, uh, this equal to this, okay, uh, radii of the same circle, okay, you can say that, or uh, right angle and this equals to that we already had that so explain why F E B E B this one is parallel to D E now this one look at this from this diameter uh, this is angle so this is 90 degree and this is diameter this is 90 degree so since angle B equal to angle F equal to 90 degree okay since they are equal therefore these two are parallel be is parallel to or eb that the way they put eb equal to df they are parallel and why they are 90 degree because angle in the semicircle i put it somewhere here okay angle in the semicircle so that's that now p and q are points on the circle center o p and q and that's 130 degree calculate the area of the triangle poq so P O Q and that's going to be half R square sine theta R square sine theta I just write down that or area of triangle is we're going to use that half A B sine theta since these are the radius of the same circle so both of them are equal radius so 1 by 2 radius is going to be 4 square and sine theta is going to be 130 degree make sure your calculator is in degree mode this is in degree mode so 0.5 times 16 4 square is 16 times sine 130 so that's going to be 6.13 square centimeter correct to two significant figure uh, three significant figures or two decimal places calculate the area of the major segment shown unshaded by the diagram so not this this one but that one okay there are several ways you can do that you can uh, find out area of the circle and you can just subtract this one or you can take this angle and then find out area of the sector and you add that uh, since i have this i'm going to go for that way so required area equal to area of major sector plus area of triangle poq so major sector this is going to be 360 minus 130 so 360 minus 130 that's going to give me 230 degree and area of the sector 230 divided by 360 times pi r squared that's going to be 4 squared and that is 6.13 and this is going to be 230 divided by 360 times pi times 16 and this is going to be 32.1141 plus 6.13 6.13 so that's going to be 38.2 this is 38.2 square centimeter so that's done 
The distance between London and York is 320 km. A train takes X hours to travel between London and York. Write down an expression in terms of X, the average speed. Now, we do know that in distance time and speed time graph, the DST, this is the mnemonic. So, it says average speed, speed, speed is distance over time. So, that average speed, sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it's slow. So, average speed is going to be distance is 320 kilometer within X hours. So, 320 divided by X kilometer per hour. A car takes two and a half hours longer than a train to travel this one was the train and the car takes two and a half hours longer than a train to travel between the longer uh, london and new york same distance the average speed of the train is 80 kilometer greater than the average speed of the car form an equation in x and show that it simplifies to that now let's find out the speed of the car okay speed of the car equal to same distance 320 and it takes two and a half hours more than that so x plus 2.5 hours kilometer per hour that's car now since car is taking uh speed of the car is less than the speed of this okay and the difference of their uh, speed is 80 kilometers so trains speed great uh, speed of the train minus speed of the car equal to 80 and speed of the train is given 320 by x and this one 320 x plus 2.5 that's equal to 80 okay now if i take the easiest way to do if i take 320 common then i'm gonna have 1 by x minus 1 by x plus 2.5 equal to 80 so 80 divided by 320 80 oh, okay write down let me write down this x x plus 2.5 and this is going to be x plus 2.5 minus x and over here 80 by 320 so 80 divided by 320 that's going to give me 1 by 4 crossing out 1 4 so this this cross out so it's going to be 2.5 and this is going to be x square plus 2.5 x equal to 1 by 4 now if i take it to that side x square plus 2.5 x and this 2.5 times 4 is going to be 10 so that's going to be equal to 10 bring this one to this side so x square plus 2.5 x minus 10 equal to 0 i need to get rid of this point okay so if i uh, 0.5 if i multiply by 2 comparing this i have coefficient 1 so if i multiply this by 2 x square plus 2.5 x minus 10 i can multiply that by 2 as well but it's 0 so 2 x square 2.5 times 2 that's 5 2 times 2.5 that's going to be 5 so that's plus 5x and that's going to be minus 20 equal to 0 and that's equal to that and it says show we're going to write down shown okay so that's done now solve the equation this giving your answer to the correct to the uh, two decimal place now i can use the uh, equation over here uh, from the calculator so i can write down form uh, with the help of calculator with the calculator calculator okay so this is the third options over here the coefficient of x squared is 2 coefficient of x is 5 and that's minus 20 and i got x equal to i can put this one to the decimal place 2.15 two decimal places are three significant figures and another one is going to be minus 4.65 so x is minus 4.65 and 2.15 that's that okay hence find the average speed of the car correct to the nearest kilometer so that one was x was what look x was the time so time cannot be negative therefore this is the x so x equal to 2.15 okay then it says average speed of the car so cars average speed was 320 320 divided by divided by uh, x plus 2.5 so x is 2.15 plus 2.5 so 300 uh, 320 divided by bracket 2.15 plus 2.5 that's gonna give me approximately 68.8 kilometer per hour 68.8 kilometer per hour so that's done and question number 10 in triangle abc 
this is 45 this is 65 AC is 5 centimeters shorter than BC so AC is shorter than BC let this one be X so that's going to be X minus 5 okay show that BC now this is a uh, sine rule opposite side so I can write down X minus 5 over sine 45 equal to uh, X divided by sine 65 okay so if I multiply that so that's gonna be uh, X sine 65 minus 5 sine 65 equal to X sine 45 I bring this to this side so X sine 65 minus X sine 45 and if I take this one to that side it's gonna be 5 sine 65 if I take X common, it's going to be sine 65 minus sine 45 equal to 5 sine 65. Checking on that, I have 5 sine 65 and bring this one down here. So 5 sine 65 divided by sine 65 minus sine 45 and X is what? BC. So that can be replaced by BC and then this is shown. Okay, so that's done. Find the length of BC. So BC, uh, we can simply put this value, 5 times sine 65, that's that, divided by sine 65 minus sine 45, bracket close, bracket close. So I got 22.7, correct to three significant figures, 22.7, so that's done. Okay, and then over here, I have in triangle that uh, this is 13, this is 6, and this is 10. Uh, produce to S. Find the value of cos, cos PRQ, this one. Okay, now cos PRQ can be written as uh, 10 square plus 6 square minus 13 square divided by 2 times 10 times 6, and that's gonna be. 10 square plus 6 square minus 13 square that's going to be minus 33 divided by 120 so divided by 120 I got minus 11 by 40 okay so that's my cos uh, minus 11 by 40 write down here's the value of cos PRS this one now you can see that if this is theta this is going to be 180 minus theta now one of the trigonometric rule goes like that if cos theta this is theta is acute okay then cos 180 minus theta they are equal but since this is acute and this is going to be obtuse okay obtuse cos theta is always negative you can see that uh, sine uh, sorry cos uh, 60 degree that's gonna give me 0 0.5 cos 60 degree is half now 180 minus 60 that's 120 so cos 120 same value with negative value so cos 120 is negative half okay so this are equal with the different sign so I have this cos uh, this 180 minus theta so this is gonna be cos this one cos PRS that's going to be positive of, the, of that so that's going to be 11 by 40 okay so that's done okay so I solved that one and in next video I'll come with another uh, solution of the question paper thank you have a good day